Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today's tutorial is how to do the animated countdown timer along with the motion graphics in Sat Vegas Pro 17. So, first of all, what you want to do is to save the project file. I'm going to save it on desktop real quick. I'm going to make a new folder and name it as timer. And save it as countdown. And this is going to be your master project file. And once you've done that, you go to media generators, pick a solid color, any color should be, but I suggest color that you can see the text. So I'm going to add a blue color in the timeline. And then once you've done that, you insert another video track above. And then you want to basically press this save snapshot to file. Save the image where you save your project file. And Vegas will automatically add a, the image into project file and just simply drag and drop into the above the solid color and then insert another video track and insert the um, empty event in the empty event you want to add an effect called time code and you want to select the time code format time the alignment in the middle for both horizontal and vertical and you want to change the width and the height as the max as you can go make sure you press save and then you want to select both the empty event and the image right click and create a nested timeline and I'm going to name this timer save now we are inside the uh, nested timeline and uh, what we're going to do is to take out this black thing here behind our time code. So find an effect called uh, Chroma Keyer, which is this one. And pick the color black. So we get rid of the black. And it actually doesn't really completely take out the black. If you zoom in, you can see a small fine black at the edge of these numbers. So to get rid of it, just go find an effect called Mass Generator and slowly increase the low in until the text gone I think somewhere around here should be fine and also decrease the high in once you've done that you can basically do some masking so we're gonna use the bezier mask simply drag and drop into our empty event enable mask effect and then go to mask one and select curve then you can uh, start to do mask around the time code. I'm just gonna do roughly here. Okay, we're pretty much done. Press save one more time. And then you wanna basically temporarily uh, disable this uh, image one here. And then click here to go back to our master timeline. Now if we play back, the timer is going up. So to fix this, you just simply right click and reverse and now the timer is basically counting down now if you turn on this grid you can see it doesn't really align in the middle to fix that just add an effect called picture in picture you size it to one or you can make it bigger if you wish to and then just align it in the middle there and now we have our countdown timer and you can change the solid color to whatever color you want it to be Okay, let's just say this color and you can also change the the countdown color which is this uh, number here so to change the color search for an effect glow which is somewhere around here and you want to pick any color that you like let's just say this uh, orange here and increase the intensity and now we already changed the color of the countdown Alright, so now let's do the motion graphics inside Vegas Pro, the circular graphic. It's pretty simple, so let's add a new solid color. I'm going to pick the orange color. And then you want to add another video track above and go to Project Media and add the image that we have saved earlier. Then you want to do the same thing, um, select both and create a nested timeline. And I want to rename this timeline to graphics press save all right so now we already saved um, these both image and the solid color 
we want to temporarily take uh, uh, turn off these image layer here the media and then uh, click the pen and crop for the solid color and go to the very first keyframe of the mask enable mask and then select this um, circular shape here press shift to constrain and make a perfect circle now you might be wondering how do we center the mask so since we are working on a full HD uh, composition timeline here I mean the project file so 1920 divided by um, 2 means uh, 960 so the position would, uh, would be 960 and for the Y if you divide 1080 by 2 is 540 and now we have a perfect um, circle in the center of the uh, preview window and then you want to add a second circle which is a little bit smaller and we want to do the same process in 440 once you've done that you want to select the smaller circle here and choose the mode to negative so we have this nice um, circle shape here and then what you want to do is make a transition fade in all the way entire length of the media itself and then go to transitions and search for a transition clockwise you can pick the clockwise or counterclockwise of the hard edge so I want to go with this one here if I play it will animate the uh, graphics here press save click here to go back to our master timeline if we play we have the motion graphic along with the timer happen together and if you want to change the color of this uh, graphic just simply highlight click the uh, nested timeline press here to enter to the uh, nested timeline sequence and you can just simply change the color of the solid color make sure you press save and if you go back it will just rechange the color of the graphics and that's how you do the animated countdown timer with the graphics inside Vegas Pro. Now if you have any question related you can just leave down in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So uh, please leave some thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Vegas Pro tutorial. Bye bye.